So imagine walking into a dentist's office one day and instead of getting an implant or a filling, they just grow you a new tooth. That sounds straight out of science fiction. But it's becoming real science now, right? Exactly. Scientists in the UK and Japan are making some serious moves. One team's building teeth in a lab using hydrogels and the others waking up our body's own dormant tooth-making powers. Let's start with the UK. That's the hydrogel method, right? Yep. Researchers at King's College and Imperial College London developed a special gelatin hydrogel that mimics the environment teeth form in naturally. So they're basically recreating the neighborhood a tooth would grow up in? That's a great way to put it. The hydrogel releases signals gradually, like in real development, helping dental cells talk to each other and start forming tooth structures. I love how it mimics nature's slow and steady approach, not just dumping all the signals at once. Exactly. That was the problem with earlier attempts. They overwhelm the cells. This approach lets the process unfold more organically. And these are actual tooth organoids, right? Mini teeth, kind of? Pretty much. They're still in the lab stage, but they've managed to form early structures that look and act like real developing teeth. Meanwhile, over in Japan, Dr. Takahashi's team took a very different route. Totally. They're not building from scratch. They're unlocking something that's already in us. Their approach blocks a gene called USAG1, which normally prevents extra teeth from forming. That's wild. So we're all walking around with hidden third teeth just waiting to be activated? For some people, yeah. They've shown in animals like mice and ferrets that by neutralizing USAG1, these dormant buds actually grow into real, functional teeth. And they've already started human trials, right? Yep. First round began late last year in Kyoto focusing on safety. If it goes well, the next step is treating kids born without enough teeth, what's called oligodontia. That's pretty amazing. For people with congenital tooth loss, this could be a total game changer. And it's not just about kids. The elderly could benefit massively. In Japan, over 90% of people over 75 are missing teeth. Which can lead to all sorts of complications. Nutrition, speech, even social interaction. Right. Regenerating real teeth could help people stay healthier longer. And that's not even counting the self-repair abilities of living teeth. Yeah, synthetic implants can't adapt or heal themselves like real teeth do. Plus, natural teeth have that proprioception. We can feel them. That's something no implant can replicate. So, in terms of tech, what are the big hurdles ahead? One challenge is control making sure the new tooth grows in the right spot, the right shape. That's harder than it sounds. I guess you don't want a molar growing where your front tooth should be. Exactly. The injection site seems to help guide placement and orthodontic tools might come in after to fine-tune positioning. And for the hydrogel approach, it's about getting the cells to form the full, correct structure? Yep. The stiffness of the hydrogel how cells are distributed, those factors really matter for developing proper enamel dentin and everything else. And even if the structure is right, you still need nerves, blood vessels, all the support systems. That's the long game, full functional integration. They're also working on improving the materials to support things like vascularization. It's kind of like solving a 3D puzzle where each piece is alive and has its own opinion. That's honestly not a bad metaphor. So what does this mean beyond dentistry? Could this tech spill over into other areas? Absolutely. Teeth are actually a perfect model for organ regeneration. They've got multiple tissue types and their development mimics other organs in complexity. So success here could point the way to regenerating, say, kidneys or salivary glands? Exactly. Plus, it's pushing forward biomaterials research in a big way especially how materials can guide cell behavior. Not to mention the systemic health boost. Oral health impacts everything from heart disease to diabetes. True. If you can restore natural teeth, you might be able to reduce a whole cascade of health issues. So when do you think we'll actually see this in a clinic? Doctor, Takahashi's team is aiming for commercial use by 2030, at least for people with congenital conditions. Hydrogel-based approaches might take a bit longer. 
And I guess cost and access will be the next big questions. Definitely. These treatments won't be cheap at first. Making them widely available, especially to underserved communities, is going to take policy and planning. Still, pretty exciting to think that our kids might grow up in a world where the dentist will grow you a new tooth is totally normal. It really is. We're standing at the edge of something big here. Not just fixing teeth, but redefining what medicine can do. And the best part, it's not sci-fi anymore. It's just next. So here's the question. If you could regenerate any part of your body next, what would it be? Ooh, I have so many answers. Let's save that for another episode. <laughs>